we're still here in the Belize River Valley, but now we're in Boral Boom Village. And we're about to take it nice and easy with a Belize River boat tour with Black Orchid Resort and Mr. Doug Thompson. So Belize, make we go. We go. beautiful day serene we're on the Belize River yes and we're getting a special boat tour from mr. Doug Thompson from Black Orchid Resort you've been the owner for the past 14 years 14 and a half years tell us how you got started actually I, I built this place from scratch it was nothing there when I bought the property uh, at the time that I purchased the land I was living up in New York my wife and I and I uh, was retiring from my job in the States and wanted to come to Belize and, and do something. And uh, tourism, it seemed like, was the up and coming thing in Belize. And so I, I did have some guidance from my now deceased aunt, Carrie Fairweather. Uh, no matter what, uh, the, the star of no matter what, no matter. she's passed on. Uh, anyway, she had led the way, having lived in New York also, and came and built a property in Placencia. Uh, Serenade Hotel, which is still there and which I manage today also. Wow. And uh, so I got the inspiration from her and it was only a matter of location where. And so I bought a property in San Pedro and I bought a property at Manati Bar. Manati. And I went back to the States with my pictures and my certificates and I showed it to my wife and said, hey, you know, this is where we're going to go. I'm going to retire and, and we're going to go back to Belize. Well, she had to, re she had to quit her job and she had one condition she wasn't going to go anywhere that she couldn't drive away from <laughs> so that, that's a good condition <laughs> yeah so that she, uh, presented a challenge to me and then i said well it's either on placencia which i couldn't find any uh, affordable property or it's along the river somewhere and uh so i found this property here in burl boom and i thought it was quite adequate although all my friends who are advising me against it because it's a barrel boom. Nobody's going to go to barrel boom. Yeah. And so it was a challenge. And they are, well, nobody will go there if I built the building and waited for them to come. To come yeah. right. Then nobody will come. So, But if you market it, you could mm -hmm. attract people. Plus the proximity to the airport. Yeah. And uh, being on a beautiful river like this, I thought they had potential. And I, I believe I made the right decision. My wife did uh, retire with me. Or she quit her job and we moved down and started building. And uh, we opened in March of 2005 along with La Ruta Maya. And uh, the rest of it is history, as they say. Right? And yeah. I think you mentioned you're from Dangriga. I mean, so that means you came back home. Yes, I was born in Dangriga in 1948. That makes me a pretty old guy. <laughs> a pretty wise guy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I've been around for a while, but and I lived in the States for a, a long time, uh, about 30, 36 years, I believe, uh, before I retired and came back. Uh, you know, one of the difficulties when I came back, you know, I had met with Bell Trade and BTB and all the different support agencies in Belize uh, looking for help and, and the banks. 
Well, the banks were a disaster. Uh, they, it was difficult to get any kind of support from them, even though I had my own uh, reserve funds yeah. for my retirement. I didn't want to use that. I, I wanted to use borrowed money, and I couldn't borrow. None of the banks would lend me money. So I had to use my own money. I had to take that chance that, okay, you invest your life savings mm. on a, you know, uh, on a work. Wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, could, it could work or, or it or may fail, fail, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is not a wise thing to do. But, you know, I, I did it. And uh, I am surviving to today. So I, I think it was the right decision. And after I built, after I built and was doing halfway decent, all the banks then wanted to lend yeah. money, you know. But before to get me off the ground, couldn't get that seed money at all. But I'm sure now that you're in Barrel Boom, and so everybody discouraged you. But then you brought the economy here. You're employing people. From we then we to have now. Uh, approximately 30 employees. 30, right? Tour guides, uh, grooms, people, waitresses, uh, room attendants, yeah. uh, you know, cooks. Yeah. So yeah, we, we provide pretty good employment for not only Baraboom, but we have people come as far away from Cayo and from Orange wow. Walk, from Belize City wow. to, to work here. And what advice would you give to young entrepreneurs who want to start up a business in tourism? Well, tourism is still growing and in Belize, so I would encourage them. They need to be careful though. And, uh, you know, start small. When we opened, we only had four rooms and a restaurant and a conference center four rooms and within two months we were at eight rooms and now we're at 25 rooms so you know you start slowly you be a, you're careful you you know try to find good employees because your success will depend on the people that you have around you you know it's it's you can't do it all so you have to have people that are reliable trustworthy and uh, conscientious you know because you know you could find we've had all kinds of people pass through here over the last four years and uh, you could really have to deal with some characters in the process <laughs> so you got to be careful when you hire people and then you have to supervise and manage them until you get them to the point where they can self-sustain mm -hmm. that's great mm -hmm. what's the best qualities of belizeans oh they're friendly friendly cannot be that and that is a that is a value that we have the entire country have and it don't matter where you're in are in Belize yeah. whether it's northern Belize or southern Belize the people may look a little different but yeah. they have one thing in common they yeah. are friendly so that brings up another point mm -hmm. Jerry because when people come to the country they get intimidated at times they see somebody and it Maybe you got a Rasta or he looks, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then, but everybody deep down yeah. with sweet, deep all down, takes, no chup. Mm -hmm. All it takes is a good morning, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. You yeah. almost always get yeah. a response. Yeah. If yeah. you go anywhere else, probably they look at you a little funny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, because having lived abroad, uh, I know the culture is uh, totally different. I, I lived next to a neighbor for 12 years and... Never see the man. We, we wave, they, you know, they yeah. get in their car and they go about their business. I go about my business and that's what's it, a wave that wouldn't work in Belize no. you know and so when they, when they come to Belize at first they they're they they're wondering why why are we so friendly you know yeah. right. and then they realize after a while even them they change yeah you know even the Americans change after a while well after a while so okay. it rubs off <laughs> yeah so we're coming up to a bridge what bridge is this now this one is the old uh, Bar Barboom bridge uh, right next to it is a newer version of it there's stripping this now for metal. I think wow. half of it is already gone. And I, I think they are sending it to to Mexico as uh, iron parts. Wow. We don't do recycling in Belize. We're not big enough to do that, but you know, there's a lot of value in that old rusty iron. <laughs> Mr. Rudy said, the man said, you are the man where you got all the knowledge. I don't know, I expert. <laughs> I didn't look wrong. I see what tree there, look like a palm tree falls down. I see cocoon tree, I see bamboo. Tell me about the flora of this place. The flora of the Belize River. The Belize the, River, yes. The Belize yes. River, this is the name, the official name of the river now. And the flora and the fauna in this place is really rich. Uh, it's a really uh, healthy ecosystem. And one of the reasons we know it's a very healthy ecosystem is because uh, a couple of weeks ago, we saw a jaguar. 
Wow. Once you see the top predator in, a, in a, any kind of habitat, that means that it's a very healthy ecosystem because it's a predator. And we have also seen, seen pretty much any, any representation of wildlife here in Belize. I mean, for example, tapirs, there is a very healthy population of hollow monkeys, about 2,000 yes. hollow monkeys in the region. We saw that already. Yeah, we, we when we started off, before we put on the cameras, we were able yeah. to see like a little family of, uh -huh. of holler monkeys. Bee babies. Yeah. Yes. And what other animals can we expect to see in this tour? Um, and what are the chances of seeing them too? They, the, the best chances of seeing um, wildlife would be holler monkeys and crocodiles, more or less crocodiles and the, the, um, uh, the holler monkeys that we have here in Belize. Also, we have at least nearly about 200 species of birds here. Right. And um, in the morning, early in the morning and evenings, where we tend to do the boat trip, you tend to see more of them being active. Okay, perfect. So we could bring our binoculars next time and just take yeah. a bird watching tour. It's highly recommended to bring your binoculars. Yeah. Welcome Belizeans. That's the first thing I want to ask. We welcome, welcome Belizeans. Uh, I am Belizean, and if I can't welcome my own people, then yeah. I can't welcome anybody. So, That's true. so Belizeans are uh, very favored at Black Orchid. We have special rates for Belizeans, and uh, whether it's for the rooms or the conference room, or if you're having a wedding, uh, getting married or something, we work with you. Uh, try to work within your budget and uh, do what it, whatever whatever it takes to help you have a fantastic, successful uh, reception. That's great. Yeah. I wish I could stay here all the time, honestly. <laughs> well, right out here, I mean, you can't beat this atmosphere. No, out you here. can't. It's, it's a relaxing. You and, you know, we do a lot of uh, tourists do the store, but not enough Belizeans. Yes. And uh, not to do the store because it's so simple, it's relaxing, there's no danger of any kind. You don't actually have to do anything but sit back and enjoy Clear your mind. Right? Uh, it's it's uh, always uh, relaxing. Even if you don't see any animals at all, just the tour itself, you're in the jungle without the elements actually affecting you. So you, <laughs> you, you and then the water is cooling and soothing. Uh, so it's, it's a great tour, I, I enjoy it. And everybody that has done it, the feedback is positive, very uh, positive. And how do we book with you? How can we get to do these tours? Booking Black Orchid is very simple. Uh, you could just come, if, you, if you're just coming for dinner and, and uh, wanted to use the pool, you could just walk Walking in. Walking is acceptable. Yes, yeah. uh, very acceptable. Or you could call us at 225-9158, or you could visit our website at uh, Belize R Us or Black Orchid Resort.com. Belize R Us is the parent company of Black Orchid Resort. So people could sometimes get confused. Hey, is it Belize R Us or is it Black Orchid? Well, Black Orchid uh, is the resort. It's the hotel. Okay. Belize R Us is our tour company. And so it is the parent company for Black Orchid. So we are very available and welcoming to Belizeans at any time. And uh, you know, just give us a call. We'd be happy to work with you for your wedding, for your anniversaries, for your family reunions. Excellent. You know, we do it all. That's great. And you know. And here at Belize Make We Go, we, well, you know what, Jerry? I don't want everybody come and experience this, but they can, not true? Yes, they can, oh, because you think? we're getting a special giveaway. What? <laughs> Tell us a little bit you more know, about no, no. that. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> well, put it on the spot. No, 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 uh, that's fine. No, no. no we'd we'll be happy <laughs> uh, uh, to, to give away a, a, not only a tour, but an overnight at Black Orchid Resort what? with what? breakfast what? and dinner. And we can win that. I want that. And the Belize River Tour. Wow. Go into one. What do you have to do? Just have to watch our videos, and comment. comment. And if you know comments, are they wrong in the Bible? Because I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. We want that one too. So with that, we shall say, Belize, Belize make we go. go. <laughs>